Bailey. I'm going to try to explain to you why it's your response, uh, your responsibility to vote, even though we're a little late. You can vote next year or next election. Mm -hmm. uh, as soon as I find mm -hmm. Try to find it here in front. Try. Oh no. One. Okay. Ah, there we are. Okay. Imagine yourself in an era or under a dictatorship where you didn't have the right to raise your voice, to express your feelings, your opinions, or to cash your vote on social issues. Think about all the things that impact us as Americans and all the things that our government has control over. Things as the price of your food, your health care, your taxes. The things that you choose to do today will impact you. Maybe not your children, but they will impact the future. As one writer in Buzzle.com states, your right to vote is your right for, to expression and your opinion. Do not take your rights for granted. Try to appreciate the power of voting and exercise that. Exercise your right to raise your voice on issues that matter. Our future is in the hands of our youth. So many of our vital issues are controlled by elected representatives. Like I was just saying, your health care, your taxes, the way the bridges are built, how much money you spend on certain things. A lot of that, um, I think that everyone just takes for granted. It's a day-to-day -day thing. You just kind of go with the flow and whatever happens, happens. The next time there is an election in your state, think of people that live under a dictatorship and cannot exercise their right. Think. There are issues that matter. A good thought from do something.org goes. It takes 10 minutes out of your day. Think about what you do that takes 10 minutes. I voted yesterday, I kid you not, from the time I got out of my car, Walked in and voted was less than 10 minutes. <clears throat> Do something.org states that you take the time to vote for your favorite TV show. I don't know how many of you are Big Brother fans, but that's the one that comes to mind because they're always texting your, the person that you choose for this or that. Think about those choices that you make, who you want to win $50,000. Think about your future. Vote for the person that really matters to your future. Take time to vote for what you want your future to be. Only you can impact that. <clears throat> Don't just say, I'm not interested. Here's a writer. Oh, excuse me. Here's what a writer from, I forgot to put the source in there, sorry. Although voting is optional. It I is think important. it's eHow.com, isn't it? I'm sorry? It says eHow.com. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, I just didn't put it up at the top. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Although it's an option. In 2008, the United States presidential election, only 63% of people that were able to vote did. So many people did not exercise their right. Oh, let's see. Even if you do not have a strong preference, you should vote. Do your research. Look who's the best candidate for your choice. Who is going to make the changes that are important in your future. The Daily Times explains that that choosing not to vote essentially aids the candidate you oppose. Because you're not supporting that candidate, you're mostly, you're most closely reflecting your preference. Even if you don't, that was, I guess, wait, did it, I'm sorry. Uh, I guess it, 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 I guess I repeated the same one. Exercise your right, vote for us, and these are all my acknowledgments.